Hey guys, I just wanted to film this product that I made for Betty, uh, who is Scrap Passion 01 here on YouTube. Betty hosted a challenge that I, um, not a challenge, a swap that I participated in for the Mr. Postman swap, and I, I like to sometimes give the hostess um, a little project that I've made for them as a thank you for hosting the swap. Uh, so this one is for Betty, and I'm filming this, um, but will not post it until she actually receives my package. So um, you get to see what I did um, uh, for the project. Uh, the project is a banner that I created for her and obviously it spells out her name. And what I used for this uh, banner are the Hobby Lobby um, canvas fabric banners um, that you see here. They're the triangular ones and they are kind of small. They're uh, three inches by one, two, three, three by four size banners. And uh, what I did was I created all of the rosettes here using the Chalk Studio paper pad that I got from Joann's um, and it's my mind's eye. And I used a American Crafts knockouts punch and it's little hearts that in scallops and I don't know how well you can see that um, around the edges and so I created all of the um, little uh, rosettes like that and just alternated them it turned out that Betty has an odd number of letters in her name so um, it makes it looks really nice when you have this balance here um, and then what I did was for each of the letters I used um, these are some chipboard letters from Michael's Recollections, and they had them on sale last summer. This is kind of like a opalescent or pearlescent um, letter that's got polka dots in it, and it's embossed. So you can see that there. Um, and then I, of course, added some lace trim behind the letter, and then some wood veneers and some, what is this, pearl trim and some buttons and bling. And so each of the letters has um, a little each um, on them. This one happens to have one of those acrylic hearts, a different type of embellishment, a wood wood veneer, and some bling at the bottom. Uh, this one has the same and a button here, um, and that that is a um, freckled fawn wood veneer. It says "Hug Me" and it's a little heart. Um, let me see if I can get a little closer. See, I'm using my zoom on my camera. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I think it turned out really cute, and I hope she liked it. Um, this one I actually put a little ladybug on, the T, and that is a embellishment from uh, the French General, and I think that's from Kay and Company. And then for the um, banners, um, the, the banners are attached using this rosette trim here um, that you can find at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's by Spare Parts. And I left the netting on the edge pieces, but on in between the banners, I just used three of the rosettes. So each of the ends of the rosettes is attached to the banner. There's a rosette in the middle. And in the middle of that rosette, I put one of those pink flowers and it's acrylic and this also comes from the French General collection and um, here is the end of one of the banners I just mixed some of the lace and seam binding and all kinds of um, trim in here that I've used also in the project um, to kind of tie it all together and she can hang this hopefully in her craft room if she likes um, and then I also made these two little clips to go with it to hang the banner with. Um, they're just the metal um, binder, not binder clips, I don't know what you call these, um, and use some, um, a different type of rosette, the shabby rosette for these. And then again, put one of those little pink um, acrylic embellishments in here from the French General Collection because I thought it matched well. So that is the banner that I created for Betty. And Betty, I hope you like um, the little um, hostess gift that I'm sending you or sent you. And thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.